What's something you learned embarrassingly late in life? That a prostitute doesn't actually sell a piece of their body. Backstory My mom and I were watching the scene from Titanic where Jack tells Rose that he painted a one-legged prostitute. I asked my mom what a prostitute was and she told me it's someone who sells their body for money. I could not fathom why someone would sell their leg for like $30. My sister was in her 50s when she found out the meaning of you have an addictive personality. She thought after all these years of therapy that it meant that people were addicted to her personality. We laugh hysterically when we talk about this in a very sad way. When I was a teenager, I posted a status online that said I was jacking off. I thought that meant you were just bored and wasting time, until my older sister messaged me, horrified. I live near the hospital for joint diseases, when I was a kid I thought it was a special hospital for people who had two different diseases at the same time. I thought that horses had toes until I was 22. I thought the hoof was a horseshoe and the toes were tucked inside. How did I learn how wrong I was, you ask? I was walking past a cavalry museum and saw a horse statue and loudly remarked it must hurt so bad when they fold a horse's toes to put them into the shoe dozens of horse enthusiasts turned and looked at me with wild bewilderment in their eyes. I thought that prima donna was prima donna and that it meant everything before the singer Madonna and just assumed she was some kind of universal queen. I was taught it's fine to flush tampons down the toilet and would even flush pads and sponges when I'd clean the bathroom. I didn't learn that it was a huge no-no until sometime in my mid to late twenties. I'm surprised the pipes at the house I grew up in weren't constantly exploding. I learned that pork and beans are not called cowboy beans. I was 18 and asked a grocery store clerk to help me find the cowboy beans. We were looking everywhere and I was getting frustrated because I know that every store carries these beans. After a while I pick up a pork and beans can with a picture and say see, it looks just like this he says you mean pork and beans. Then I realize that my mom called them that so that I would eat them. The look of disappointment from that grocery store clerk haunts me to this day. Until I was in school for environmental studies, I thought morning dove was morning dove. I usually heard them calling in the mornings, so morning made sense to me. This is something my little sister did through high school. We're about eight years apart so we never overlapped in school. She's always been a straight-A student, and I found out she worked extra hard because she wanted to catch up to me in school. So we could be in school at the same time. I almost cried. Let me tell you about how I thought you were awarded a Pulitzer Prize. You don't have to rip the plastic top off of your new deodorant with your teeth or pliers or anything. You can just turn the base until it comes up enough to just take it off. I was like, 22? Working at a restaurant making myself a salad, and I asked the chef for bumps and he stared at me for like, 60 solid seconds trying to figure out what I wanted. I explained to him I wanted bumps for my salad. I have all the rest of the toppings but now needed bumps. Guys, my family told me croutons were called bumps my entire life. I called my dad that night and confirmed that bumps are indeed, actually called croutons. Just this week I found out about the little button on the back of the socket driver that pushes the socket off. I have owned the same socket set for about 30 years, and I have a dedicated screwdriver that I keep with my sockets and use to pry them off when I'm done using them. I will be 55 years old soon. Not me but my mom waiting for the shower to be warm before stepping in. She grew up with a bathtub most of her life, and didn't get a shower until she moved out of my grandparents' place in her twenties. She was apparently talking to a co-worker about the winter weather one morning. While lamenting, she goes, and don't you just hate getting into a cold shower on these cold days? It takes so long for the water to get warm. Co-worker ah. Uh, Cheryl. You know you can just wait until the water gets warm, then hop in. Coca and cocoa are two different plants, not one magical organism lol. Birds have sex. I thought that the mother bird laid the egg and the father fertilized it later. I was 18 and asked my mother what the birds were doing. When people say quote unquote I thought they were saying quote unquote. 
that bonsai are not a species of tree, but a way to grow them. Any tree can be a bonsai. I was probably 21 or 22 when I learned that whole milk is only 3 fat. I always thought it was 100, and when I saw reduced as being 2 I thought why wouldn't they do 50 or somewhere in the middle. When you're and shouldn't buy shoes that are a little loose, in case you get taller. That pineapples grow on the ground, and not in a tree. I was maybe 17 or 18 before learning that it was Timbuktu, not Timbuktu. I thought there was an original Timbuk out there somewhere. The saying is nip it in the bud and not in fact nip it in the butt. I though Mick Jagger's name was Mick Jagger, and people just never said his first name for some reason. My sister, a nurse, didn't learn until her mid-twenties that rabbits did not in fact lay eggs. That a coma was a coma. Until I was probably 19 I thought it was a coma. I thought you fell into a coma. Houston is not the name of the guy astronauts talk to. Jackalopes are mythical creatures. I was. 18 I think. To be fair, I've seen a platypus, rhino, and a giraffe. Those are some BS animals. I didn't know I was circumcised until I was 15 or 16. I was arguing with a girl online. I thought the head was the foreskin and that circumcision cut the actual head of the penis off. That all the places in France were not named after wines. I think I was in college when I realized that Mario and Luigi are plumbers. I thought they just went and up down these tubes just because that was the theme of the game. While watching Game of Thrones, I asked my husband when dragons went extinct. He had to pause the show for that one. That you don't have to stand in the shower while the water warms up. I didn't know tortilla chips were made out of tortillas until I was 20 years old and saw the line cook at my job cut up a tortilla and throw it in the deep fryer. Why I was really young my sister told me she threw her guts up. So I was really afraid of vomiting my entire insides up for years. That Jack Cousteau was a real person. I always just thought he was a fictional character like Sherlock Holmes until I was in my 30s. That it's not chest of drawers but a chest of drawers lol. Things aren't supposed to start to get blurry at about 15-20 feet. Learned I needed glasses at like 26 from one of these threads. Yes people you are supposed to be able to see individual leaves on trees. Hope someone else can be helped like I was. The D in the Disney logo was a stylized capital letter and not a backwards G. In the last year I found out peanut butter is brown. I'm 34. And horrendously colorblind, if that wasn't obvious. That the porta potty doesn't somehow know when someone's inside. That the sign only changes to occupied when you physically lock the door. Many people walked in on me during my childhood. Edit I was dragged to many outdoor craft fairs and whatnot as a child. So I had to use them more often than most other children. My parents were divorced the whole time and my mom was not, in fact, taking a vacation LMAO. I suspected it was the same with lots of people but I found out it wasn't guerrilla warfare but guerrilla warfare maybe in my twenties. The disappoints of growing up. They just keep coming. That Alaska wasn't an island, it's connected to Canada and that's why it's separated on a map. I thought ponies were just baby horses until the age of 23. Edit until I was 23, I didn't think horses aged like turtles. I'm dumb, but not that dumb. Mommy wasn't a hoe cheating on daddy. Daddy was dressed up as Santa. I was almost out of my 20s when I realized this about the song I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. I used to think that the Diet Coke bottles on the side of the road which were half full of pale yellow liquid were unfinished Diet Cokes that had been bleached by the sun. About two years ago I saw one of these bottles being ejected from a truck and I realized the awful truth. I'm 53. Narwhals are real animals. I thought they were mythical like unicorns.